on the floor. We're running. Three. But with speed, please. Two, two times if you're going fast, three times if you're going slow. Go. Hi. Oh, sorry. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is Thursday, the 7th of November 2019. And Dee is running around the court as usual. Um, today is going to be a short lesson because he has tennis in under an hour because it's about 10 past 4 and he has tennis at 5 so it's going to be a quite a short lesson um, because last week he said that he didn't want to do tennis on the day of tennis because he didn't want to not have energy so I listened to him and I thought nope he can definitely do practice so I figured let's see how we do with a short Oh, with a short um, practice with me before going to tennis and if he copes well we can increase the hour I think we can probably do more I think we can probably get away with the full hour next week but we'll see right come on let's get with the seven we don't have time for you to dilly dally it's all about fastness today you know you don't have a, lo a, sh a long session so you can really push yourself you should have took your water with you because you know right forget tired right I'm gonna leave my bag here um, maybe take my phone with me and I'm gonna go there because I think when I go down there position it it's best so yeah, today will be a less than an hour session oh, okay I was making him watching a lot of um, YouTube and Instagram videos yesterday so he can learn the techniques looking at their hands looking at their feet looking at their shoulders looking at how they swing their bodies so hopefully that will work today yes yesterday I was a bit hard, hard on them but you have to be because if you guys watch tennis and even if you're on Instagram you will see how good some of these people are and how fast they are and if he wants to wrong side if he wants to get to that level he has to push himself way outside of his comfort zone some of you might be like she's really hard on him the last lesson the last uh, the last lesson was titled on YouTube um, our first two hour session you might think oh I was very hard on him but realistically I wasn't it's, it's, it's harsh but the reality is very few people make it as a pro tennis player especially since he wants to be number one ranked in the world and your reality is it's very hard to get there and if he doesn't push himself he's not going to get there that's it's, it's not nice to say but it's the reality of it it's like if you wanted to be a lawyer the reality of it is you need to get good grades in your in college in school in 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 a um, university you need to get at least a 2-1 uh, and if you don't then you don't become a lawyer it's it sounds cold but it's the reality of life so I'm not trying to I've never been one of those person that lies to my son I've never told him that certain imaginary beings existed when they never existed I never told him you know at any time of year that people was going to come down and drop off gifts so I never it was never a case of I've never lied to my son in the aspect so I'm not going to start now I believe in order for you to to be great when you're aiming for stuff you need to know the truth and he needs to know that if he wants to be the best and he wants to get to where he needs to go he needs to work hard and he needs to push harder and keep going harder some of you might be like oh it's very harsh but life is harsh and He's homeschooled. He's seen life. He's seen bills. He's seen, you know, he likes, he watches shows like Can't Pay, Take It Away, and he sees people losing their homes. He sees people, you know, having to pay debt. And, you know, he's, see, he's seen life. So it's a case of I'm being, I'm going to be honest with him. You all, everybody's different. You all can tell your kid they don't have to push far and they can tell them to take their time. And if that works for your child, that's good. But for my son, I know he needs to be pushed so I will be pushing him 
until he gets to where he wants to be and then once he gets to where he wants to be my job is done and I can relax but until then he has to push himself because it's a very hard industry he's going into come on keep it in and there are a lot of really really good players a lot started to follow lots of them on Instagram so not just the, you know the top rankings but all sorts and they're very 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 good so it just shows that it's a lot of work so I'm gonna try and do as much as I can get him into as much programs as I can so he can get as much hours of training in as possible so I'm afraid your job as parent coaching your parent don't st just stop at coaching you have to find different uh, the ball uh, you have to find different ways of trying to get your son out there and getting him as much practice in um, maybe after you go out and practice with him for a year maybe try and find him a coach a good one um, yeah trying to see if you can find any tennis scholarship that's what we're trying try as much stuff as you can that's what we're doing <sighs> but dreams are hard right wrong side Dreams are very hard and it requires a lot, a lot, a lot of work. Just in. But I was talking to my friend yesterday. My friend was like, you know, it's very hard and he's going to struggle good to, to do the fitness and everything. And I think he will struggle for the first two or three months because, you know, he's a kid pushing himself outside his comfort zone and working harder than most 12 year olds would would normally be working at but the most important thing is he's out here doing it you know I moan at him and stuff he moans back but he's out, out here doing it trying to make his dream happen so if you have a kid and they're moaning you're like me yesterday of course you're gonna get upset because it's their dream and you you work out here and you're working with them so you want them to do their best but at the same time you just be proud that they're also oh, out there the guy actually working on a dream I'm not a okay that, oh my god the tripod is stuck oh my gosh sorry oh my gosh gosh oh yes yeah, so just be good that they if they're coming out that means they're dedicated for their dream. If you have to pull them out and be like, no, I want to stay in my bed, then <laughs> you should probably just <laughs> ask them if they're serious. And if they're not coming out of their bed, then they're probably not serious. <laughs> Come, be ox, mom. But it was your dream. Yeah, but I want to stay in bed. And they're not serious, really. I don't know if this is straight. I mean, it looks straight to me but on camera it doesn't look straight if you, if you know like if you're looking at the cab the camera and the tripod line up it looks straight camera it doesn't but sometimes it looks weird and then when it's on the screen it looks <coughs> good and then sometimes when it looks good on the screen it looks weird realistically hey birds right so how long have you got of practice left it's only been eight minutes oh it's 24 past ew Come on, no, it's 24 past. We don't have much time. Just one more from that side. And then we're going to have to do some drills. Very short lesson today, guys. Because, good. He's got tennis. And when we finish, we're going to work on that. This this technique we learned from that guy yesterday. Oh, yeah. you mean the single-handed backhand? No, no, the, the, the swinging, swinging of the foot. Swinging your body like that. Yeah, no, look what I'm doing. Yeah. You see how easy it is? Yeah. So you're just switching, yeah? yeah? And then we're going to practice the stopping. Remember I told you they stop like this? Yeah. 
told you I watch videos. If you're coaching, guys, wrong side. Come on this side. If you're if you're coaching your kids in 2019, 2020, in, you know what? In any area where they have YouTube and Instagram or any kind of video, if you're watching this in 2075 and VR is how you watch video or a weird contact lens in your eyes is how you watch videos or whatever or if it's exactly the same because nothing's really progressed which I whichever way you're doing this or with a holographic on a holographic screen like in the Jacksons is it Jacksons no nope. back to the future maybe back to the future um, if you however you're watching this if you have access to videos and pe coaching and stuff Definitely look at it for tips on how to coach your children. Because it really does help, especially if you're like me and you're not coming from a tennis background. You're coming from a uni background. <laughs> a uni of law school or, I don't know, English doctors. Or if you just work in a supermarket or wherever, retail kind of place or a restaurant. If you're not coming from a tennis background, I think YouTube and Instagram is definitely your, yes, your friend or whatever is around in 2075, <laughs> 2021, 20, whatever. And I'm pretty sure 2021 it still be Instagram. Don't see Instagram going away anytime. Anytime in the next five or six years. Just in. Come on, focus on what that guy told you to do yesterday. Just in. How comes I've never noticed the planes fly by until I started coming to the park every day? <coughs> There's a lot of netballs, man. This new technique is good, right? It just needs time, yeah? Alright, well, hurry up. We're running out of time. So, you need to get these balls over. So, come on, move. You've got to move fast today. We don't have time. You really have to move fast. Come on. Get that ball some height. Just in. I could be on the line, I don't know. That ball still rolling. Mm -mm, the ball came back into. Good. Ball came back into view. <laughs> that ball, you knew you wanted to be on camera, didn't you? Rolled, bounced all the way on the gate, came all the way back and stopped right in front of the camera. Yeah, it's my time to shine. Ball, you're not going to have your moment. I want to zoom past you. Don't zoom past me. I'm going to have to. Ah, no. I rolled. I've never think. All right, I'll let you, I'll let you have your moment. Sheesh. Cheeky ball. Come on, Dee. Let's get moving. Oh, my gosh. Just out. I think. That's definitely out. You keep it in that line. Come on. Out. Brown skin girl. Skin just like pearl. The best thing in the world. How did that smell? Oh, wrong side. You know these songs get into your head and they stay in your head. Like I was leaving my house and then I randomly started singing. Washing machine, live longer with Calgon. And then I was like, brainwashing is real. I mean, I've never bought Calgon, but. Why did that randomly come to my head? I had to move it away for that ball. Washing machine, live longer with Calvin. I don't know if that's true, but I've had my washing machine for like 
over a decade and I've never used Calgon. If you've used Calgon, has it made your washing machine last? Would you know? How would you know? Is it real or is it just marketing? Dun, dun, dun. Right, let's go, Moo. Let's get it. Running out of time once again. Come on. We're running out of time. Today's not the lesson for slowness. Today's all about running or nothing. Right in. Come on. Move. So can you get, get another one? That one's the wrong side. And it hit the tripod. Poor tripod. You didn't deserve this. The wrong side and that hit my leg. Oh my gosh. Right, that one's in. Come on, get the last one. Quickly move. Oh, my legs really hurt. That just really slammed into my... I didn't sign up for this. Also, whilst they're practicing, even if they've been doing this since they're four, good. Get the balls out of the way so I can start doing the drill. These ones are kind of dangerous if you're running. You want to get some helmet, knee pads. Get some water if you need it. Take it with you to your section. I'm here with the balls. I just need to turn this a bit so I can put the basket. Oops. Right here. Oh, I need to flip the basket up to stand up. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. What happened? Oh, well, that happened. Right, let's practice a couple. Maybe... 10 rounds of the whole no foot up no like this yeah so you can swing easier when you're like that you see practice do you think does it feel easier no it feels harder because i usually see them tiptoe yeah but that's what they do yeah. but because when you're on your toe it's easier to move look you see? Okay. It's half past. Half past already? Yep. Damn. We've only been here for 20 minutes. Yep, and you took a long time to move, as per usual. Right, so please don't hit me with the ball. Look where you're hitting the ball. Do the, 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 the tick method so it goes over me. If you do the tick method right, it goes over. Make sure you swing. Yeah? Right, go. Tick it. Tick it. Good. Tick it. Tick it. Come on. Good. That was a, that was a leaf. Good. That's enough. That's enough Insta today. It takes too much effort and we don't have much time. Right, so let me see you three more doing the swinging with your foot method. No, I don't see your foot. Come on, slack, move for it. I'm not seeing the, the footwork move. Nope, I saw the footwork at all. Right. No, not once. The camera saw it. Right, for home base. Let's go. First base. Move. Come on back. Faster. You've lost so much weight. You should be faster. Come on. Back home. Right, third base. Back home. All the way to number four. Five. Five. Good. Home. Good. 
When you tick it, you do so much better. Keep the ticking method going. Base one, go. Home. Base two. Once you hit it, go back. The second you hit it, move to the next base. Be ahead of the game. Right, fourth. No, five. Four. Five. You gotta get it over the net. And home. Right, this one is called react. Run, react. When you're close to the net, gently get it over. Don't hit it hard, let the racket do the work. If you're far, hit it a little bit. Don't go hard, right? We want to keep everything in, not out. Right, let's go, run for it, react. Good. Come on, bite it, don't even look at it. You remember what that guy did? He hit it without looking? Yeah. Right, you remember he ran, he couldn't see it, just hit it. Your aim is just to hit it. Don't even try and look at it, just, just, if you see the ball, just hit it. Don't turn around, don't try to turn around in time, just hit it, yes? Right, come on, the goal is to hit it. Gently when you're at the front, there you go, that's all you need to do at the front. Right, get it in, good. Good, you're getting it. Right, hi, back side, it's like a comeback right next to me. Right, let's go. Right, I'm gonna run, you're gonna have to run and hit this. Come on, hit, no, no. Just get your racket ready to hit. You had it pointing down. Have it ready to hit. So even if it's two seconds from the ground, you can tilt it up. Come on, let's try that again. Just get the racket. There you go. Get the racket in position. Again. Right, come on, move. Over here. No. Let it bounce if you can't get it. Right, come on, move, react. It's close to the net, gently. Come on, hit, hit. That's it, you see, you've touched it and it's just up, but you've got it. You didn't have to turn around, you're getting it. Outrun the ball. If you can't get the ball, try. Come on, get it, you can get it. Get the racket ready. There you go, don't miss one. Well, come on, rack it always ready, come on, go on, go on, come on, that almost got me, look where you're going, come on, run, 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 run and hit it, come on, run, it bounced on the line, that would have been in. You should have always run back and just tried to hit it without looking. Come on, we're practicing. Oh, gosh. Come on, it's just in. Come on. No. Faster. Come on. It's going to be by the thingy. Get it. Right, let's go. Run, run, D. You could. If you keep saying you're not going to get it, you're not going to get it. Girl Mon would have got that. Right, come on. It's in. It's in. Let's go. Come on, last two. Out. The last one is out. Quickly catch the ball. We've only, we don't have much time. Just leave your racket there. What time is it? Probably um, 40 something fast now. I'll check in a minute. Get as much balls as you can. Come back. I think this probably will be our last run. Yeah, it's 40 past. And we've got to leave because we have to walk to the car and then drive to tennis. 
<gasps> guys, sorry, I can't, you can't see Dante. I'm pulling up my leggings. <laughs> I had to undo my zip, my coat, pull up my leggings. I'm on the keto diet. I don't know if that's good. We'll find that in a few years. <sighs> I just know that I have to keep pulling up my leggings. It keeps dropping down. I don't think I've been on it long enough for me to <clears throat> have significantly lost weight because I've been on it, I was on it for like three weeks straight and then I went to Birmingham with my aunt and after a couple of days it was just impossible keeping up with the keto so I was eating korma and rice and naan bread came back I went to, came back I went on keto and then I was craving cereal so I had cereal then the next day I went back to keto and I think I've pretty much stuck to it now. But you know what? I crave cereal. I really wish there was a keto cereal. I really like cereal. I mean, I don't really care about the other stuff. You know, like the the, the whole like crisps and biscuits stuff. But I do like cereal. But realistically, cereal is just sugar and wheat in it, or sugar and corn, or sugar and soy. So really, I should just stay away from that. <clears throat> Come on, we're running out of time. Take your racket with you and then go there because then you can just practice on that side. Yeah. Pick up that ball. Might as well, you're going past there. Alright, and then just there's loads up there down there that you can just quick, quickly pick up. And then this is the last round before we go for tennis. You see, you can do a full hour. It's not that bad, is it? There's not much fitness. Is that any from There's no moaning, but we're, and, and you're running a bit faster. Yesterday was a lot of walk jogger, but we still want you to get to the level of walking. Come on, you're taking long. Of, of walking really fast. Running really fast. And jumping really high. You need to be able to catch these ones at the front. The basket thing is come out now, so we're just fixing it. I wish I didn't buy the Wilkes, the Wilsons one now. There was another one on um another website, tennis nuts thing. Not is it ten, no, not tennis nuts. Another one that was 19.99, and it was so much better. He had a chain at the bottom and everything. That screw's gone missing, so I'm gonna. I think I have a spare one at home. I'm gonna have to put it into that section. And maybe, if I'm lucky, I can get some more spare ones in B&Q in case another one goes missing. That's really annoying. It's so annoying. I just bought that and it's already coming apart. Oh, flimsy me machine. So yes, I'm going to have to put a screw it in my bag so I remember to screw that up the next day for tomorrow so the plan is I want to drop into tennis I want to go shopping I'm going to come back in time for the last 10 minutes of his tennis and see if I can record it for Instagram for you lovely people to go and see it in the future again his Instagram is at Dante Amir Amir means to love that's his middle name. Well, he has two middle names, but that's one of these middle names, Dante Ame. Dante's his first name. Ame is one of these middle names. He's got two middle names. How long did you take? You want to know? Uh, five minutes. It's uh, four forty-five. So you literally only have one more round of this before we have to go. So you're gonna have to move fast. 
like really fast. Right yep, five minutes is all we have. Literally all we have. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure that the screw was in there, so it must have dropped off somewhere here. I think it dropped down there. Oh, but it was uh, but it, it was here most of the time. Yeah, but when I was collecting the ball, I, I think I thought I heard something drop. Alright. Alright then. Well quickly then, we only got five minutes before we have to start getting gone. Alright, react. Ponte, please. Look. Aim it. If you, if you tick it, it goes over. Tick it. Yes, aim it high. Come on. That's it. Right. React. Come on, faster. Get the racket ready. Come on, hit it. That's it. Next time you hit it, more back. Nope. Right, come on. Right here. Mate, come on, you have to react faster. There you go. Come on, hit it. Get just, it's bounced. You see when it's bounced once, that means before it bounces, you still have hope. And when it's bounced once, you still have hope because it hasn't touched the ground yet. As long as it hasn't touched the ground for the second time, there's still hope for you to hit the ball, right? Don't forget that. Come on. Even if it's low, you saw what that guy did when it was really low. Come on, move, move, move. He just flicked it. Learn to... Come on. It's right here, run. It's over here. I'm firing them at you, come on. I'm gonna go faster. Drop the ball. Come on. Come on. I'm going faster, D. Come on, it's here. Run back. Come on. You're not doing it. You need to try and get the ball. Otherwise, there's no point in doing this. You have to fight to get the ball. Come on. You have to run and fight. Like, there's, this is a championship. You don't, you don't want to miss the ball. Come on. At any cost, you run and get the ball. Even if it's two centimeters from the ground, you can hit the ball. Come on, move. You don't give up. Come on. Get the ball. Run! It's not bounce. It's not finished bouncing. You stopped. I'm trying to teach you to stop before. Before it bounces a second. When it bounces a second time is when you stop. It's when you give up. But until it's bounced a second time, you don't stop running. Are you getting it? When, even if you think you're not going to get it, you might surprise yourself. Until it's bounced the second time, you haven't, get, you haven't lost. So keep going for it. It's really annoying. You give up when you have, if you kept running, you would have probably got that. Come on, man, move. Come on. It's still got, you still got loads of opportunity while it bounces once. Game is not over until it hits the second time. Come on, come on, it's about, there you go. Don't make it bounce twice, but you can still get it if it bounces. You see how long it takes to get to the ground after it bounces once. Move. Come on, run. Over here. Until it bounces the second time, we don't give up on the ball. Come on, it's once. There you go, you would have given up. Come on. It's, it's only bounced once, there you go. Until it hits the ground the second time is where we give up. We don't give up a second before. Not even if it's an inch away from the ground. It's still up, it's still in. Come on. We don't give up on the ball. Come on. There you go. Go. Don't give up on the ball, there you go. It, and it's in. You don't give up on the ball. Come on. Right, right. It's coming right here. Run. You see? You would have given up on that ball normally. Go on. Come on. No. You gave up on the ball. You gave up on the ball. We don't give up on the ball. Come on. You could have got that. Move it. Come on. This way. Don't give up on it. You could have got it. You could have got it. Angle the ball. Get the ball into position.
passion. You gave up on the ball. Stop giving up on the ball. Until the ball bounces a second time, we don't give up on the ball. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Once. Go. You have more than enough time. It takes at least 10 seconds for it to hit the ground after it bounces once. Come on. See, you have more than enough time. We don't give up on balls. Come on. Over here, run. Don't give up on it. Go over this side. Don't give up on it. It's bounce. Don't give up on it. Don't you dare give up on it. There you go. You caught it though. You would have normally given up on the ball. You got it though, didn't you? Come on, it's bounced once. Don't give up on it. Let's go. It's bounced once. It's not bounced yet. Come on. Don't, don't you dare. There you go. Go on. Don't give up on the ball. Until the ball is back. Nope, you gave up on the ball. It was in. You could have still made it. Come on. Don't give up on the ball. Until it's bounced twice, it's still in. Don't give up on the ball. Come on. Last one, right here. It's bounced once. Go. That's it. Don't give up on the ball. What's this? Christmas? With quitters? What have you learned today? Don't give up on the ball. Don't give up on the ball. It's just the second bounce. Yeah, there you go. What have you guys learned today watching? Let me hear you. Right. Don't give up on the ball until it's bounced twice. Even if it's half a centimetre underground. As long as you can flick that over, you're still in. Right, let's collect the balls and let's go. I'm going to go down there and try and get some balls in the bag. Don't forget your water. You're going to need it for tennis. Guys, today's lesson was about, if you, miss, if you, if you never got it, it, was not giving up on the ball. Because I've noticed that... He gives up on the ball if he thinks he can't make it. That's not what makes a great tennis player great. I was watching this guy, Gail V, I think, French tennis player. Don't know if I said your name right or wrong. If I didn't, I apologize. I just learned about you yesterday. And I saw him and another guy, and the ball was two, not even two centimeters, maybe a centimeter from the ground. And he just flicked it. Flicked it. And it was in. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And it was then I realised, don't give up on a ball. <coughs> Why should you? The game ain't over yet. Can you see him? The game ain't over, so why are we giving up on the ball? Don't make any sense. When he's not lazy, he improves a lot. I think when he knows it's a short lesson, or when he knows it's a long lesson he gives him, but hopefully we'll get that out of the way in a couple of months. <laughs> Realistically, the, if it drops in here, we're not finding it, mate. It's like dark. So it's getting dark anyway. Get all the ones on the net though, because I'm not coming back down there. Make sure you take your water when you're coming down as well. And because I'm getting all these balls in one position, so it's easy to collect. bending thing is real ah oh wow the flu is real I bend down I came up too quick and then I felt really dizzy 
Did you get all the balls over there? Yeah. Oh, good. So these are all the balls left. I'm going to get these ones that I've gathered. And you can quickly collect those ones. I've got most of these ones over here. Oh! way too quick as well. Oh, my head is like spinning. Oh, yep. I should not be doing this in my condition. Oh, Ooh. So, I have a flu and I just bent down and came up. My head is light headed. Is that a ball? I even missed the ball. Oh, wow. Oh. Look at this. It was hiding behind the leaf. Right, nearly finished. Oh my gosh. I am, my head is really, whew, I can't even, whew. oh wow. My head is beaten. I still got the cold in case you haven't noticed. And Oh, I just made myself incredibly dizzy. Whew, I thought I was going to collapse there. I went down, I came up too quick. Get the last ball, Moo. We don't want to be late. How are you feeling? Good? Like a good warm up? You ready for tennis? You see, that should be lighter now because I've got lots of balls in there. More balls than usual. All right, D, so end your vlog. What did you learn today? All right, then. That's it for today, guys. Thanks. For, I hope you learned something. Well, sure we did. Um, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye, guys. D. Bye. Have a good time. Just give me the light. Oh my gosh.